Late Night Health continues uh, as we begin our next segment. Uh, Robert Clancy will be giving us a, a tip for the new year uh, before we join our guest, uh, Ross Pelton, here on Late Night Health. All right, uh, let's talk with more with Dr. Hans Kugler. Hans, uh, you know, I, I was saying we're talking about global warming and the environment and you said, no, 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 talk about anti-aging. They're all interrelated, aren't exactly. they? Exactly. They, they all go together. Like, we used to tell people, you know, when they ask us, like, what shall we do for best possible anti-aging? We tell them, well, practice good health practices, right? Nutrition, exercise, stress management, and environment, that's one. Then came telomere research, the extension at the end of your DNA molecules that every species has, connecting health practices to true anti-aging. If you do these good <clears throat> health practices, can our <clears throat> telomeres actually lengthen? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, because the connection of telomere research right now, we don't call it health practices anymore. We call it anti-aging modalities. So, according to Professor Cheraskin and myself, we used to work the big research project, lifelong health or best possible health, sexuality, uh, immune functions, least rate of aging is synonymous with doing all these anti-aging modalities correctly. We talked to um, a urologist last mm. week and he mm. said one of the best things for men to do Mm. at no matter what age, is to have vigorous sex because it's a great... And it, you're agreeing with that's that. That's right. It, it, right. It activates your endocrine system. Yeah. No question about it. I and mean, have good sex. Well, you look at your face afterwards. You're going to be smiling. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, in, in, in taking a look at global warming, we are having a, the weirdest winter, I think, on record that I can remember. Here in the western part of the United States, mm -hmm. where the where Daryl and you and mm -hmm. I live, uh, it's colder than normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is it, by a few degrees. On the other hand, on the East Coast, it's hot. warmer. It's hot. I mean, it's in the sixties. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine said, "I'm going to the store. I'll, uh, I'm in a t-shirt and shorts." I'm, mm -hmm. I don't do that when it's sixty, but. A lot of people do. Yeah. My my point is, there's something you know totally screwy. Wrong. Something totally is wrong. going wrong. Right. Yeah, and it affects our health. Mm. So, assuming that we do have the global warming, what can? How does that affect our health? What does it do to us as humans and animals as well? Right. As we said before, in defining best possible anti-aging, we look at the anti-aging modalities, right? Some of them include nutrition, where we have the toxic genetically modified food that are messing it up, and environment where that chemtrail spraying messing it up, right? But let's say once we have all of this very well defined and we practice things correctly, then we can go a next step up and we look at immortalitynow.net, which is a new interview section by Dr. Ron Klatz from, from the American Academy Anti-Aging Medicine, worldhealth.net. You go to worldhealth.net, you find Immortality Now, and there you listen to the experts in every specific area relating to aging <clears throat> and see if, according to their information and according to your genetics or background, you should make further adjustments to your anti-aging program, right? And, and I've been doing this for many, many years. And a few weeks ago, I was at UC, USC again, and we did my heart recovery, right, the, the checkup on it. I mean, I hate to say that in case a good-looking woman listens into that, I might meet a little bit later. You know, I'm 80. <laughs> I turned 80 last Friday, and I participated in a fitness event where I left four out of five 30-year-olds behind. It's not, it's just, we know how. Do you how remember Gypsy Boots? <clears throat> yes. All right. Gypsy was in his, you remember him too, uh -huh. Daryl. I met Gypsy someplace in the 70s, mm -hmm. you know, when I met you. Mm -hmm. And he's passed. He was much older than you. And Chekla Lane. And Jack Lane. I'd never met Jack Lane. Oh, I was on tour with Jack Lane. We yeah. were up in Alaska on a tour. We had the, some of the Dean Martin gold diggers along. That was many Ooh, years boy. ago. My point is that, that some people can just do this is naturally. Is it is it genetics or is it 
can you affect the genetics by exercise and mm-hmm. eating organic and, and all of that? Totally. Yeah, the strongest telomere maintaining factor is, guess what, exercise. The strongest telomere maintaining factor is muscle exercises. So do I have to really work out, and you use the word antiperspirant, and that's to prevent sweating. So, <laughs> so do I need to mm-hmm. sweat? Well, we put it in two parts, right? Because we, if we look at the toxic chemicals that environment that are in the environment everywhere and also in our body, increasing as we get older, we want to do some detoxing. So in an exercise program, we want to do the exercise first, focus on muscle, and then we want to do detoxing and, you know, then go into other things. Hans, like if somebody wants to look at your website, what is that? DrHans.org. Very simple. D-R-H-A-N-S.org. DrHans.org. You'll be back. Definitely. You will. Would you say that? I'll be back. I will be back. Okay. Good. And you will <laughs> like it. And yes, you will. <laughs> Coming up next, Dr. Uh, Ross Pelton will be joining us along with uh, Dr. Uh, not Dr., but uh, our, our good buddy, uh, Robert Clancy, will be starting our next segment. And then we'll have... Uh, Ross Pelton on as well. Uh, Don't go away. More coming up on Late Night Health. Exciting stuff, including next hour. Horror films are good for your health. We'll find out more.